Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another exciting lesson in Tinkercad where we're gonna learn about the control surfaces that affect the attitudes of flight. So my friends, let's get cracking. So the first step is to get into Tinkercad and find your jet attitudes that you created. If you didn't create this, you can look at mine and create it again really quickly. All right, so in a plane, we learned that there are three main kinds of attitudes of a plane. The first one we talked about was pitch. And pitch is when the plane tilts towards the ground or back up in the air when you're thinking of the nose or the tail. The second one, and I'll switch the view cube to the back so we can see this, is roll. Now the nice thing about our little Tinkercad plane is we can simulate roll by finding this little rotation arrow and you can see it rolls about its middle. So that is roll on an aircraft. And then the last one, and perhaps the most fun to say, especially if you watch my students in class, is yaw. And yaw is when it spins to the right or left around its center. Of course, that center is super important. The center of gravity is a big part of what helps it fly. So this all happens because of control surfaces. So we are going to add those control surfaces to our aircraft quickly. I'm going to start by clicking on my labels and hiding them so they're out of my way. The little hide button makes that really, really slick. For our airplane, we need to find a control surface. We're going to do that by choosing the all shapes and then scrolling to the bottom and sliding all the way over to page 13. And when you get to page 13, you'll find that swept NASA again. Bring it out and use the fit view so you can zoom in on it. I'm gonna look at it from the side so I can see better what I'm working with. We are gonna make one little modification to the number to make this kinda look a little bit like a control surface. And what we're gonna do is just make that wingspan 10 so that way it slopes in more towards the middle and is closer to what a control surface would look like. You can adjust it a little bit to make it a little more cool if you want. I'm going to make the root thickness of mine too. And then I'm going to call that good, even though it is not the perfect control surface, it at least gets us the idea. The first control surface that I want to take care of is our elevator. And the elevators on an aircraft are what control pitch. They are most often back here on the tail. So let's do this. Let's click work plane and let's touch the top of the tail click on that little wing we made and do D to drop it. Then use your arrow keys to nudge it towards the end of the plane. Zoom in. I'm going to use that fit view so I'm in close again. And I'm just going to arrange it so it shows up right on that little wing and squish it to the size that seems most appropriate for that spot. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to move a second one out because I'm going to use these again and again. I'm going to click the corner, find my rotation handle. Sometimes you have to change your angle to really get it so you can see that the way you want or roll out a little bit. And then I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. 90 worked perfect. So now I can do control down arrow to lower it so it's in the wing. And when I bring it out, that would be my control flap for that elevator. I want a second one on this side since I've got it oriented that way. I'm going to just do control D and use the arrows to move it across. And this way we can have the elevators on our plane, which would control the pitch of the aircraft. When you've got those elevators in place, let's go back to the basic shapes and let's add a label for each one as well by setting the work plane to where the shape is. So I'm going to put it right on the tail. And then we're going to label that elevator. Remember you backspace and then type. Make sure you spell it correctly. E-L-E-V-A-T-O-R. And then shrink it down. Probably the easiest way to squish those is with the little black handles. And then make it nice and thin. I like to go to two millimeters. If you want to put it on an angle, you can. And then pick a color that pops so that when you're trying to show it off later, it's easy to see it. If you do rotate it and want to shrink it later, just remember this cool trick. If you do the work plane on the flat shape of your word, make sure you hit the word I actually missed that time. 
Then you can shrink it along those lines as well. And then when you're done, set your work plane back to normal. All right, friends, so I did that one with you. The next ones I want you to solve on your own. I'm gonna set the work plane back down to the ground, and then I want you to find the ailerons. So just like you Google search where the elevators would be, I want you to search where the ailerons. I'll help you spell it, A-I-L-E-R-O-N-S, and then find those lessons, find the images, find the videos, track it down, and then when you're done, add your ailerons to your aircraft. I would also like you to add flaps, so you're going to have to Google where the flaps are on an airplane, so you can find all different ways that you can search that before you put the answer. And then the last one that I want you to find, all right, the last one I need you to track down is the rudder. Once again, do a Google search, figure out where a rudder is, and add it to our plane. And just like that, you have mastered control surfaces and how your plane's attitudes can be adjusted with them. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.